Hi, welcome to ADI Technical University Training. Today we're going to be adding a keypad module to our intercom. Right, what do we have here? We've got the display unit, and we've got the camera module unit, which is your indoor and outdoor, and we've got a keypad module. Now I've connected them both up with the supplied RS485 cable, which comes with the bracket, and it goes into that. And, and on the keypad module, it goes into the left-hand side, which is marked up in. Also very important, the dip switch is behind a little grommet. This one's set to number one. If you have any further modules, they need to be set to uh, number two. Uh, we'll connect up the network cable, and we're going to start programming it up now. So we've got IVMS 4200 running. Um, I've added the two units, the two IP addresses for the indoor and the outdoor station. I've connected physically the keypad unit up. Uh, it's always worth checking, uh, helping about. We've got the latest version, which we have, which is good. Uh, and now I need to set the two units up so that we can um, make a call uh, and, and use the keypad. So first I'm gonna test it, just to show you things are as they are at the minute. Right, so we press the call button. Calling failed. It's not set up yet, so we're going to go and set it up. Right, so we need to add the indoor to the outdoor. So we go on to the outdoor. All right, we go into device management, and we need to add an indoor station. There it is there. Um, we need to put a, red, a password in. Um, I need to put a registration password in. This is the same as generally. A serial number, um, if we've remembered it from before, we can use it. If we've got a copy of it, stick it in. It also forms part of the serial number at the top of the in IVMS. As we can see here. And with that entered, we need to put our IP address in now which is for our new indoor station, which should be 192.168.1.101. And of course our important subnet mask and the default gateway we've been using, which is 192.168.1.1. We're gonna give it a new device, new device is number one, and we click okay, everything looks okay. It says say successful, but we need to maximize and you'll notice that it says offline. Uh, we need to go and fix that. How do we go and fix that? We go back into the indoor station, click on the cog. We go down to network, group network settings and go over to the registration password and re-enter the, the same registration password we used before. Click save, it says save at the bottom. So we can see it, we can close that. We go back into the outdoor station, click on the cog, and I wait for it to load, go back down to device management. We'll see our device, we'll maximize now, and we'll now see it's online. Everything should be okay. So what we're gonna do now is gonna give it a quick test. Let's see how that works. Click the screen up, press the button. It's working. That's exactly what, what we want to happen. So now we've got the first device set up. Now let's move over to adding uh, our new uh, key mod keypad module. We go over to system settings. We go over down to intercom this time. And if we've connected it up right, if we click on sub module, we'll see the keypad module appear in here. It says it's online, it's got its own firmware. Uh, and that's all we have to do. Uh, it's as long as we've done it. So we can go over to the access control part. We can put in our password. Uh, it has to be numbers, I suppose. So one, two, three, four, we'll put in and we'll just confirm that as our first password. We'll click OK. Uh, and that's that saved. So we've now entered a, an access control password on, on the module to be able to open the door. Um, so let's go and have a look. Just test it. We need to use the hash key first. And then we put our password in, one, two, three, four, and then hash again. The door is open. And we'll find that's opened the door. And to finish off, if you really need to use the context to open an actual door, 
uh, they're here underneath the underneath the module. The normally open, normally closed contacts are all there for you. All right, I hope that helps. Cheerio now.